What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. I hope you are all well. Today we're going to be looking at HBAR on the four hour time frame and basically go from there. Last time I spoke to you guys, we had this double bottom over here. We broke out, our technical target was met, but this is a line that I said we need to be aware of because it's a uh, resistance that may step in and that's what we're seeing right now. Now, you basically broke out, went to the previous high and then this would be the next resistance point. That's why we're getting that ready, basically. But I think that we're rolling over right now, to be honest, guys. We're below the 200. We respected that as resistance. We've come down below both of these EMAs, and you've now respected them as resistance. With wicks at the top, it's going to drop, and the resistance, the top being the EMAs, because you're respecting it as resistance. So for me, we're going to continue down. You Just like the logic over here, where you couldn't break this high, we can use this logic right over here with this high, come up multiple times and you failed look there and that massive wick you did come up above all the emas couldn't break this high tapped it and then obviously closed below the emas to continue this downtrend and then you put in a lower low bearish engulfing so for me we're on a path downwards now yes we did have this uh sorry uh <laughs> this falling wedge now yes it looked like some sort of double bottom may have formed but you've now lost that low put in a lower low and we need to see where we're going and the emas are telling us the story so this because you've lost the support of this falling wedge it's now invalidated basically so um what's going to happen next you've lost the neckline and basically we're rolling over down to this swing low swing high turns uh, into a swing low lose that you go to the previous swing low so for me right now h bars on the journey to about tw the area of 25 cent in and around this this white box slash these two support points over here so i'm going to get some fibs out to see in the short term if this is correct obviously we've just come up here you've come down impulsively corrected up and then obviously continuing down now so i can give you a short term technical target you can see that we're going to come down to this 1618 we are holding the one at the moment but you are below the neckline over here if you can get above this neckline confirm its support chances are we will try and attempt to come back to the emas but i think that you won't break above them amazing if it does we'd need bitcoin to do that and i think we can all agree if you've watched today's bitcoin update i urge you guys every day to watch my bitcoin updates because that is what decides the market and we'll know going forward if you watch the bitcoin update what is going to happen next with our alts because we're informed on bitcoin as that decides the fate the mothership it is so um with h bar i think yeah if you lose the support now we're basically below the resistance the neckline here so technically we should continue down to the 1618 at 26 0.5 cent now of course the two targets are down here i do think that if we were to lose this 1618 the two targets will step in very nicely and lining up as confluence with with this double bottom over here now this is just a short term fib though we need to look at this retracement here so we've come up impulsively retraced and now obviously we're losing that support i do think that obviously if we're just looking at this eyeballing it, it is roughly at the halfway like of, of this pump like it's probably retraced halfway of this pump already over here but we'll just double check that potentially still above the 618 yeah yeah so we're st yeah okay there you go exactly we're at the 050 retrace halfway if we were to lose the support now we'll come into the 0618 this is an area that we must hold if we want to see continuation upwards there's a little hopium there but of course it's all on bitcoin this is a nice candlestick pattern to be honest on the four hour time frame this is a bullish uh spinning top i was about to say hammer this is a bullish spinning top at support but i think because you're below this neckline it's like at support and resistance so for me it's sort of like indecision basically we know what's going to happen if we were going to break above and confirm this as support we won't see further downside but for me i think we're going to obviously tap this as resistance let's it's hard to say what this candle is at support this is a spinning top but at resistance this is a hanging man and so it can be interpreted either way at the moment because we're caught between support and resistance and the candle is touching support and resistance. So for me, this just basically means there's indecision in the market, but we need to just take in other factors as well. What are the EMA saying? What's the previous candlestick saying? Because we can't make a judgment on this current candle. And the previous candle is a bearish engulfing, followed by, of course, rejection and a shooting star on the EMAs at resistance and no bullish cross form. EMA rejection forming a a, a slingshot uh, motion basically and you can see we are heading lower and that's why we're looking at this larger fib now because i do think we are going to head lower and if you were to lose the 0618 we will be forming the reversal wave to the one of course and that's lining up with our two targets but if you were to then come down and lose 25 cent 
exactly that psychological level, then I do think, let's put that line in actually for you guys. So right there, that psychological level, if we do go lower than that, let's actually write it in, coordinates, 0.25 if we were to lose that then of course we'd be looking at the 1618 and you'd be coming down doing exactly what bitcoin is going to do and form a large double bottom as you can see there because we have lost this trend line you're in a downtrend high low slightly lower high lower low lower high and this is why because of this lower high we should go and break this low and our technical target would be 22.2 cent for h bar of course this is basically above the zero and so it should hold a support obviously you do have your two targets there but we won't look at them for now basically because our 1618 is our target 22 cent that's what i'm seeing for h bar of course in the short term that means forget rid of these fibs now that means in the short term we're losing the golden pocket and remember guys this golden pocket was basically saying as long as we're above this we are in a target to the 1618 36 cent now yes it would be right for to, to continue with that narrative right but I do think that because Bitcoin and the signs over here of the EMAs and the EMA repel, we are trying to head lower. Now, it doesn't mean we will. Of course, the EMAs are saying that, but we know if we do put in a higher low here, we're good for continuation upwards. But I just think that Bitcoin has one last leg down and the same with all the alts. And then we're all good for continuation for in this bull market that we're still in. Perfect, guys. Please like the video and subscribe. I'll update you guys tomorrow, of course. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always... Peace.